Today we're going to be making one of our most popular soaps. This is called the Black Ice. It's an unscented activated charcoal facial bar. Everyone really likes this soap because it's just a really good simple facial soap. And also activated charcoal is a really trendy ingredient right now. It's also really, really easy to make. <laughs> so I've already measured out my oils and my lye water here. So I'm just gonna mix the lye water into the oils and I'll turn on my stick blender and start blending it up. Once everything's incorporated, we're going to add our only ingredient that we'll be using today, activated charcoal. This is from Wholesale Supplies Plus. You can find this pretty much anywhere that you're going to get any supplies for making soap. It's just a really good ingredient, but it sure is messy. So be really, really careful. I like to try to get it as close as I can to the inside of the bowl before I start pouring. You can see I dumped a little bit over the edge there. It is a bear to clean up, so if you're going to use it, be really careful. I'm going to blend this in with my stick blender and a technique I really like to use is pushing it down into the batter with my stick blender, but it's still puffing out. You can see it in the video. It's just, man, it's a mess. So then I'm just going to blend that until it's completely incorporated and you can't see any more streaks. Activated charcoal really likes to stick to the edges of the container, so I like to take my spatula and kind of scrape along the edges to make sure I get it all off the sides of there and completely mixed into the batter. Since we're not adding any more additives or any fragrances to this soap, it's time to pour it into the mold. I'm using the 12 bar silicone mold from Brambleberry. I really like this because it's easy to get the soap out since it's so bendy. I'm just going to fill in each bar all the way to the top. My recipe leaves one smaller bar and one space completely empty. So if you're using a little bit more soap, you can probably fill this entire mold. I can see the pink skies are falling through the hole in the wall while I lay here waiting for the Once I get everything poured out of the container into the mold, I like to take my spatula and kind of scrape that last little bit of soap in just so I'm making sure I'm not wasting any. Wants to begin again. I'm just going to gently shake the mold to make sure I get any air bubbles out. This one's pretty full, so I don't want to do too much. And I'm going to wipe off the excess soap that I've spilled. a few spritzes of rubbing alcohol to help with soda ash. And that's it! This is such an easy soap to make and because the molds are so small it's probably going to be able to unmold in 16 or 18 hours. So I'll come back tomorrow and I'll see you then!
All right, we're back 24 hours later and the soap is ready to unmold. As you can see, it did form some soda ash on top and it left little dots where I spread with rubbing alcohol, but that is merely a cosmetic issue. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is to pull the soap out of this mold. You just gently push on the bottom and it pops right out, see? And this is what it looks like. It's just a really good, simple face bar. There's nothing fancy to it, no fragrances. I love this soap. And this is what it looks like. Hopefully, if you're looking to make an activated charcoal soap, this video gave you a couple tips on how to manage it because it can be so messy, but really it's not too bad. Thank you guys for watching. We hope you liked this video and we hope that you will subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any more soap making videos from Old Tradition. Thank you!